There's a lot that goes into RVing and motorhoming and the engine is an integral part of it, but your generator is just as important. So today we're gonna to be changing the oil and the spark plug on our Onan Microlite 2800 on our 1994 Odessa Lextra. Finding parts was kind of a challenge, but I got in touch with Cummins and they told me the parts that we need to be using and I'm gonna be showing those to you today. Unsurprisingly, it doesn't take a lot of tools in order to do this, so it's a very, very easy maintenance item. In order to service the Onan Microlite 2800, you're gonna need one quart of oil. Refer to the owner's manual because it varies a little bit depending on where you are. An NGK BPR4HS spark plug or cross-reference that to your choice of spark plug. A gap tool, those are very inexpensive. And you're also gonna need a 13 16 spark plug socket, the 9 16 socket to pull the bolts off of the oil pan to drain the oil. A ratchet, funnel, and a pan to dump your oil in. And what's really great is that this unit only requires one quart of oil. So when you drain your quart of oil, you put the new oil in, you can drain the old stuff back into the container that the new oil came out of, and then you can go recycle it properly. First thing, we're gonna change the spark plug. I prefer doing the spark plug first because that way you get that out of the way and there's no chance of getting any oil on your spark plug. All right, so now we're gonna open up the generator door. And here's the air filter. We're not gonna be doing the air filter today because ours is okay. What we're mainly interested in is the spark plug that's located right here. We're just gonna pop this wire off. And through here, there is a hole where you can get a socket. We're just gonna reverse our socket. and go straight through. Doesn't take much. You never want to over tighten them. I like to finish the last part by hand. And there's our spark plug. Now we're going to gap our spark plug 0.025. Now we're just gonna reverse the order. We're gonna put our brand new spark plug back in the generator. Taking great care not to cross thread. Do not cross thread this. You cross thread this and you are in serious, serious trouble. It should go by itself. Once it gets tight, we're just gonna give it one good twist just to snug it. All we need to do is just reconnect our spark plug wire. Spark plug is finished. Now what you should do is run your generator for about five minutes just to break up everything and then drain your oil. long enough let's get our pan and get to work now I have to do this left-handed and I'm right-handed so bear so bear with me there it goes it doesn't take too long, it's only a quart. Go ahead and clean our plug up. There we are. This is where I tell you the proper procedure on how to check oil in this generator. You don't screw it in. You just dip it in and pull it back out and that'll tell you your level. I see people screwing it in and that's incorrect. Don't do that. You won't get an accurate reading. Well, we're just about done draining our oil out. Dip sticks nice and clean. Have our plastic bag down there so we don't make a mess. Give it a couple more seconds and we'll put that drain plug back on. 
All right, so now we're gonna put the drain plug back in the generator. All right. Bolt is secured. This is where your funnel comes in. And I always like to shake my oil. You know, shake everything but sodas. I don't know, shake sodas if that's your thing. So here we go. It's important to note that Cummins informed me that the generator uses conventional oil, not synthetic. Let that sit for a minute. Let everything settle down for a second. Remember what I said in my previous videos, patience. Everything about motorhomes and RVs is patience. And you don't have to do this very often. Now we're just gonna add some more. Remember to go slow, cause you're at the top and you don't want it spilling everywhere. Making a mess and wasting oil. See what we got. You see how clear that oil is? Let me show you something. This is the old oil. That's the old oil. So it's important to stay on top of this stuff. There's a huge difference. And that's one quart. We are completely full. Now to confirm. Full. Perfect. Perfect. Now on the next change, we'll do the fuel filter and the air filter. Let's kind of clean up our a little bit of a mess that I made here. For the most part, we were pretty clean. But you know, you can't expect to stay clean doing this kind of stuff. It just doesn't work out that way. Now we're gonna start it up and run it for a bit. Now that that's done, time to get back to camping. Did you notice something? No oil filter. Don't be alarmed. The Onan Microlite 2800 does not use an oil filter. They designed it that way. Well, there you have it. Oil is changed, spark plug is changed, ready for another adventure. Generator is running really well, and I think that about wraps up for this video. Don't forget to recycle your oil. Huge shout out to AutoZone for helping me get the parts and the oil. Shout out to Cummins for those part numbers and helping me pick the right oil and spark plug. <laughs> if you got any value out of this video, smash that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. It's not that difficult, is it? It's a little messy, but you could do it yourself and save you so much money. And then you're working on your rig. There's a lot of pride that goes with that. This is Chris from Chris Travels, and I'll see you on the road.